female and male district champions in primary school basketball from across the country converged at the St. John's College Gymnasium in Belize City for the national championships in the junior basketball competition. Family and friends, including coaches and team players, aimed to walk away with bragging rights as the 2017 top basketballers. It is the culmination of a year of sporting activities. This is really the, the grand finale. This is like a festival for our student athletes. All of them have been having competition in their district, and they actually right now are the champions of each district. So they all should be congratulated just for reaching this far. But so today, after today, really and truly, will be the no, who will be the number one basketball team in the entire country. So it's a great, great day for them. So it's both uh, males and females. Yes, yes. You know, the National Sports Council, we try to promote sports for, for everyone. And we cannot forget the, the female or, 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 or the male, you know, especially when it comes to our youths. As early as 10 a.m. this morning, the matches began and one by one teams were eliminated. Defending female champion St. Joseph RC School in Belize City are without a doubt coming for a repeat win. We play our first two games. The first game we play against Corozala, we win 18-4. And the second game we play against Ovendraka, we win 19-3. And now we are playing against Kelf. We play against Kelf, I win. We are playing against Stanford for the championship. We feel confident because most, most of the girls that we played last year I got a high school and we made it. We made it. We, may, um, we get more girls and they feel confident. Now, you're the captain of the team. Talk to us about what you need for those to make sure that all, everybody they're on the same page for know how to win. Well, and if it, and if it be a leader to my teammates, make, make everybody get involved, make them over to stay on their part on fence and make them play good defense. In an interesting twist, 2016 defending male champions from Holy Family School in Stan Creek were eliminated in a match against Faith Nazarene Boys of Cayo. Coach David Rekenya and Captain Avant Moody hope that their defensive strategy will gain them the overall win. It's put up versus the hills, but sure that when you run up the hill every day, you got that energy and from the beginning, from we started this competition, it's about defense. I always tell the guys, no matter how good a team, if you defend, you stand a chance, and that's what Calvo is standing right now, defending. Defending is the key to everything. Once you defend, get the man that is that is the most the most strongest to the team and lock him down. Then they got they can they have nowhere to go. So th that's the strategy that I use to take down a team. Okay, now, uh, in terms of being a team leader, because obviously you have to guide your team to the victory, uh, what is the best practice that you put in place uh, when you're on the, on the court? I just, I just dribb dribbling, dribbling, that's all I do, dribbling, finishing, shooting. That's my workout for a day. Two, three hours in the morning on Saturdays, I work out with my club, um, hearts, with dribbling, shooting, dri driving to the basket, do basic things I do. I, I use my height, try to get over people, try to get rebounds and finish, get points for my team to win. National Sports Council Deputy Director Charlie Slusher is no stranger to sports. He says that there are extreme benefits to engaging young athletes and promote their development in various sporting disciplines. Like, like most sports or anything, you know, we, we got to start with our youths. And as much as we all know education is, is the fundamental, very important, but also sports is a very integral part of students or young people development. And so from the sports council point of view, we are also pushing that agenda and we are happy that a lot of the principal, a lot of the parents and coaches is also contributing to, to, to this event. And you know, we want to again appeal to parents and teachers and coaches and even principal, let the kids participate in sports. Don't just concentrate on education. You know they need to be developed overall. And again, sport is, like I said, it's very, very important. And I'm happy that through the Ministry of Education, Youth Sports and Culture, and the National Sports Council, we have these activities for our student athletes. Dwayne Moody for News 5.